Hi. So in the next five minutes, you're going to learn one simple pose called Thadasana, which is extremely delightful and very very simple to do uh, yoga. What is this called? It's called Thadasana. So there are multiple stages to it, but in the next five minutes, we'll be done with all of those, and you would have learned one extremely awesome pose of yoga today. How do you begin to do Thadasana? First is stand with legs balanced, both legs, feet on the ground, balanced. The second step is slowly take your hands up, slowly up and clasp your fingers on top of your head. Clasp them tight and now flip it. When you flip it, it will try to go away. Don't let it go by just holding one of the fingers and hold it upside down like this. Easy, right? Step 1, slowly take it on top of head, interleaf. Step 2, flip. Step 3, you will rise it up really as high as you can and the hands would go like this behind and your shoulders have to touch your ears try to bring it close to your ears and hold it straight and now raise your toes gradually and just stay there for however long it feels awesome it feels awesome for me already so I'm going to stay for a little longer no special breathing nothing just fun. Slowly come down. Wow. There's a lot of circulation that is happening in your back. This is straightening your spine. It's got a lot of vertebrae, right? They're all compressed down to the ground. And by doing this, you're actually stretching that. Stage 1 Tadasana is done already. Hands on head. Flip as high as possible to your toes. Hold your breath with mouth closed. Throughout yoga, you will always have your mouth closed. Only breathe through nose. Inhale, stop, come back. Easy, right? Stage number two. We are two minutes into the video. Stage number two, we are just going to tilt our head back and stay. No toes this time. Don't raise your toes. Slowly take your hands up to your head. Flip. Extend as much as possible. Make sure your elbows squish your head. Squish. And your palms facing the sky. Now gently bend your neck back. Keep your mouth closed all the time. You can hold the breath. Or leave small breath. Slowly come back. Slowly. Super slowly. Wow. Why does it feel so nice to just tilt your head back? Your spine is going backwards. This is stage number two. No toes this time. Easy, right? Hands on head. Flip. As high as possible. Now tilt your head back. Slowly come back. Mouth closed all the time. Two stages are done. Stage one, stage two. But stage three is a little bit more fun. So you will just practice some special breathing technique. Just blow out. Close your lips tight. Force the air, air to come through your nose. Right? Practice that breathing. You are going to use that slowly in Tadasana. Hands on head. Flip. As you go high, you are going to inhale. Inhale, pause, exhale. Look at how my hand switches. You go like a steam engine fast. 10 times, 20 times, 30 times. You will feel your calves stretching up all the way up to your spine and and even your shoulder stretching. This is Tadasana stage number 3. You already feel a lot of circulation in your shoulders. And that completes Tadasana. Very simple. Very effective pose. You can do it anytime. Preferably when your stomach is empty. Even if your stomach has a little bit of food, it's okay. This will extend your spine. Stretch your spine. And it will improve circulation throughout your body. Slowly come back. The transitions have to be super slow. Mouth closed all the time. Breathing in and out only through the nose. That's pretty much it. We are done.